Hi, Max Brandon with the Arkansas Times. On Friday, October the 7th, everybody in Arkansas is talking football. The Hogs' big game with Alabama Saturday night. I don't have anything on that. I did get today, though, a copy of the Arkansas Bar Association's committee's draft proposal to move to a merit selection of Arkansas Supreme Court justices rather than election. It's uh, before the legislature in 2017. It would require an amendment to the Arkansas Constitution. The plan would be this. Appointed judges would serve a single 14-year term. They wouldn't raise money to run for election. They wouldn't have to worry in their decisions about standing for a retention election. They'd be appointed by a nine-member commission, five from the Arkansas Bar Association, two from the governor, one each from legislative leaders. It would take politics out of judgeship. It would present an image of fairness, but there's a big problem. Asa Hutchinson won't like it. He wants a system where he appoints the judges subject to Senate confirmation. The Senate, of course, is in control of his party. I, I see a hard time in getting something out of this. Plus, Arkansas people like to elect their judges, persuading them to change to any other system. The election will be hard, but it's underway. It would be nice to take the dark money out of judicial politics, that's for sure. Tom Cotton, you've heard of him, tired of presidential election talk. Well, this is presidential election talk, just not this year. Tom Cotton is going to be in the state of Iowa for two speeches over this weekend, one to the state Republican Party of Iowa. He's not going to be there campaigning for Donald Trump. He's going to be there essentially campaigning for Tom Cotton, who's preparing to run for president in 2020, presuming Donald Trump doesn't win this time, which at the moment seems a little less likely, but a lot of things can still happen there. The UALR Law School announced today with great happiness that it's gotten a million dollars to start a small business legal clinic to help innovators start small businesses. It got the money from Leslie Rutledge. She's got a slush fund that she passes out without legislative approval. This time UALR got the help. Sometimes in the past uh, the money's been divvied up more equally between the two law schools. She's a UALR graduate. Uh, they benefited from that association this year. Small piece of news yesterday is worth noting. A Little Rock person, Lancel Harris, who'd been sentenced 23 years ago to a 40-year sentence in federal prison for uh, dealing in crack cocaine, had his sentence commuted yesterday by President Obama. He'll be out of prison after more than 23 years in February of next year. He's one of more than 700 people whose sentences have been committed commuted for nonviolent drug crimes by President Obama, more commutations than 11 previous presidents combined. Obama's really done some revolutionary things in office, and I think in time, in the fullness of time, we'll appreciate a lot of, of, a lot of what he's done. One more report shined a bad light on Arkansas this week. Education Week did an intensive view of corporal punishment in schools in America. Only 21 states still allow corporal punishment, paddling, hitting of children in school for disciplinary reasons. Uh, Arkansas, unfortunately, is one of those 21, and worse than that, it, Mississippi, and Alabama use corporal punishment more than any other state in the country. I don't know if we have much to show for it. And in the category of why Arkansas can't have nice things, ever been to Gunner Pool? It's this gorgeous swimming hole up near Mountain View on Sillamore Creek. Uh, people have desecrated the bluffs that overlook the swimming hole with painted on graffiti. The Forest Service and some do-gutters are getting together October 15th to scrub the walls of the graffiti. If you want to help, give the Forest Service a call. It'd be worthwhile. It's a shame to see what's happened up there in a beautiful place. And there's this, the Yellville Turkey Trot is today and tomorrow, and I will repeat again that plans still proceed by some people up there who think it's funny to drop turkeys out of airplanes and then have people chase after the survivors if they survive and wring them by the neck to take them home to some uncertain fate. Strange way to entertain yourself. Animal rights activists have turned out an incredible outpouring of, of rage about it. 18,000 of them voted on a Democrat Gazette online poll against the custom. Uh, they've been, they forced the sponsorship page to close on the Yellville Changer Commerce Turkey Trot page. The sponsors don't want to be associated with it in public so, anymore because they've been getting so many phone calls. The so-called Phantom Pilot, he's actually, apparently, Dana Woods, a pharmacist in Mountain View, seems to be vowing that the flights and the dropping of turkeys will continue. He's even taken a crack at the Arkansas blogs, author Max Brantley, for writing about this outrage. So anyway, that's one nice thing that we may or may not have tonight. Stay tuned. I'll be back Monday and give you a final report on the turkey drop. In the meanwhile, woo pig. I'm Max. See you Monday.